Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. As you can tell by the title, we are doing a power hour. What is a power hour? So a power hour is basically where you take one hour of your time to just clean whatever you can. Get as much done as you can within that hour. And as you see, I have quite a bit to do. My house looks like a tornado hit it. I don't know what happened, <laughs> but we do definitely need to get in here and clean. But to be honest with you, I was very exhausted this day, so I didn't have much energy and I didn't want to invest too much time cleaning. So I gave myself an hour, hit that Starbucks, set the timer, and we are ready to go into this cleaning situation. So everything here this is pretty much towards the end of the day as you saw it's around 440 so the day has somehow escaped me <laughs> and the cleaning situation has piled up on me and I have a, quite a bit to do so first things first when it comes to my power hour what I want to do is I like to focus on what is most important to me. So for me, it's always the kitchen. The kitchen is the focal point of my home. We spend a lot of time in the kitchen and we also spend a lot of time in the living room. So those are the two things that I wanna focus on. After I tackle those two things, then anything else that needs to get done, I will go ahead and do that too. For me, it's so important to maintain some type of a cleaning routine. So I typically do morning cleaning routines, nighttime cleaning routines, weekly cleaning routines, and all the all the cleaning routines. <laughs> but there are days where I just don't get to it, and that is normal. That is a uh, reality. I'm a stay-at-home mom, yes, of three children, my housewife. So you would think that as a housewife, my house should stay clean, <laughs> but. Um, like I said, in reality, it doesn't always, you know, stay cleaned and that's okay because we have other things going on in life besides just, you know, focusing solely on cleaning the home, the home and everything like that. Um, so that's why power hours are so essential for me because when I do have those hectic, crazy days, I still have this opportunity, I should say, to at least clean up something. <laughs> and an hour isn't that bad, at least for me. You know, I could spend anywhere from four to five hours cleaning my whole entire home and deep cleaning it. And on those days when I have that energy, then I'll go ahead and tack it all out. You know, I can definitely do that. But there are days where I'm busy or something else occurred and I just didn't have the time to do so. And a power hour definitely helps you know, with cleaning something and getting, you know, a little bit done at least. So as I mentioned, um, we're focusing on the two things that are super important to me. <laughs> that is the living room and the kitchen. And I take it step by step, as I mentioned. So obviously I'll clean the dishes first. Cleaning the sink is like an extra thing. If I had time, then I'd do it. So as you see, I do have time. <laughs> and so I decided to take that step and do that. I like to also clean my stove, but in this power hour, I didn't do that. And that's because I didn't have, you know, too much energy, as I mentioned, to go ahead and tackle this whole cleaning routine. It's just a power hour. So I focused on what was important to me. And the stove, you know, I'll save it for labor. I'll save it for, you know, that morning cleaning routine that I typically do. So now that I tackled the kitchen, we're moving on to the living room, the second most important thing for me to do for this power hour. Um, typically, when it comes to cleaning the living room, I like to vacuum the couch, um, but you know what? For a power hour, we don't have time for that, so we just gave it a nice little fluff. The shoes, oh my goodness, just putting the shoes on the rack is very helpful without like making it look so cluttered because that was a, a pain to look at. You know, people just leave their shoes and by people, I mean my children. <laughs> they just love to leave their shoes lying around when there is a clear rack right there. You know, just put your shoes on the rack. I don't understand. <laughs> but honestly, just doing a quick tidy up is what I'm trying to say is really helpful with making the home look so much more cleaner than it is. You know, I didn't have to get in here and deep clean and do anything too crazy, but just tidying up and taking this hour really helped to make the home look so much better better. Alrighty, so I was closing in on my hour. I had roughly about 10-15 minutes left. 
So I'm taking this time to vacuum the floor. So many crumbs, so many crumbs. <laughs> There's a lot of crumbs on the floor. You can't see it, but girl, I feel it. So that is key for me. The next thing I gotta do on the list is vacuum. And because I had a little bit of time, I also opted in to uh, wipe down the kitchen floors, only the kitchen floors. So I didn't have too much time. So I wanted to focus on this portion of the home as far as cleaning the floors because obviously when I cook, um, oil splashes on the floors, you know, and kids are eating in here, things are falling, crumbs are falling, things are spilling, all that. So I didn't do the whole entire house, but I did do the kitchen and that was definitely enough for me for this power hour. All right, 5.37, about four minutes before my power hour was up. I was able to clean so much. Within that hour, my home looks so much better, so much cleaner, ready to start the next day. If you are having those crazy hectic days and you don't have time to get in and deep clean and clean for hours, I highly recommend a power hour. It is so helpful. All right guys, that is gonna do it for this power hour cleaning video. I hope you enjoyed it and got some cleaning motivation and inspiration. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also feel free to follow me over on Instagram. I do upload there whenever I'm not uploading here on YouTube. I have a lot of cleaning videos and cooking videos over there as well. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.